Is it more art or science? As cooking progress, mm -hmm. we are fortunate to be in a time where it's not just a open flame fire. Right. We, are, we can use sensitivity and uh, technology a little bit to be able to do other things, you know, so. Chefs today, especially young chefs, really have uh, because of the internet and because of the resources, they want to go out and carve their own piece of wherever that is. Right. Doesn't the technology have something to do with that? Well, actually, you know, always people will go and say, oh, French cooking is on the top. And I think, it's on the top in certain ways. Mm -hmm. The way that they had and why he has success is because it's always been kept in books and always marked for people to be able to follow recipes. Right. What's great about technology is all the other uh, cooking style uh, identities and country around the world are catching up with that. Got you it. know, because not everybody's been recorded. Right. Like if you go at the far end of Turkey, maybe the way that they do one of the couscous or something like this right. may not be recorded. And I think that's how you come up with a worldwide library of food, produce, traditions. Why is it being made in this area that way and not that way? So the technology is really helping on that way. So. What are we going to make today? We're going to do a pork chop oh. with a local wild rice who's made in Arkansas. Yeah. But here we make it with actually roasted grapes. Can we go do it? Of course, let's go. Uh, let's go do it. Okay. Right, come on. Okay. <laughs> we want to try to get seedless grapes. And we're going to invite you to pour a little bit of oil and a bit of balsamic. So that's balsamic vinegar. Just a little dash. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, and then this a little bit, yeah, perfect. So we're gonna bring a little bit of salt. We're gonna mix them up. Okay. And this is going to go inside the oven. What so temperature? It's going to be around 350. So here what we're going to do is we're gonna season it properly. Okay, perfect. We're gonna put it on the fat side a little bit. Like this? Yes. Wow. I never thought to do that. Y you can tell all that fat's just reducing off Oh. And we go slowly, like this we have a... Love it. Yep. You know, the cooking temperature going down, it's a little bit more control. And we don't always look for the flame and the darkness, but mostly a low cooking and being able to keep it tender. The fat is already type of reduced, and that's going to give us a better chance to, to sear everything in. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay. What's the temperature we're looking for? A medium rare? Are you thinking medium ah, to think medium rare? I think pork you want to be more on the medium side. Got it. Medium okay. to medium well. So that temperature is what? 145? Uh, yeah, around 145. It can rest five, ten minutes? Um, may, maybe tops five. So now as you open the oven, you can already start to to smell, so you have a balsamic, fresh thyme situation. The grapes will actually absorb the vinegar and have that concentration of sugar with the punch of the acidity. Wow. That's the idea a little That's bit behind incredible. it. And we could start a little bit of the rice. So this is a, a mixed rice, so it's a wild round jasmine and everything who's been pre-cooked. And then what we do is a local farm who does it. So we're gonna to toss it a little bit with peas. Mm -hmm. For me, if I'm making dinner for four people, right. I make this rice yesterday. Yes, you can. Let it be in the, because now, now it's go time. And the last thing we wanna do is dealing with rice right. that maybe didn't time out. Right. Do it, do it in advance. This is the sauce that we made. We sweat the onions mm -hmm. and then we deglaze it with uh, apple sauce or apple juice. And then after what it is, it's just something who's built and reduced, we can blend, blend it. Yeah. So let me give you... What? What do you mean? So we're missing pecans. Oh. Do you have anything to do with that? No, no, I don't know, okay. What do you mean? Okay, come on. Fine, I was hoping to get those home okay, in my bag. Well, um, per, maybe a half a pound. <laughs> it's a, yeah. a larger container over here. Well, yeah, we have a large container. I'm sure we can get some, you know, if we need some, but here we go. You see, it's not overcooked. It's not no. it's the way it's supposed to be. Spending time in the kitchen with Mark reminded me that in my opinion, one of the best ways to appreciate the diversity of Little Rock is through its food. My friendly reminder, step out of your culinary comfort zone in your kitchen and on your next vacation. Wow, look at that. I think that looks amazing. The onion in here, 
the balsamic comes through slightly. Not too much salt, not, not over seasoned. And the balance of the sugar? Yes. You know what? Right. That's the idea behind it. That's incredible. From scratch, from the beginning, we're going to go for the perfect bite. For the perfect bite? Yeah, well, cheers, cheers, my friend. Thank you for this. Uh huh.